For Louisiana vs. All Y'all, Jarrett Roser here with Tackett Curtis, a standout 2023 prospect from up in Manny, Louisiana, where the Tigers just won a state championship at the end of December. And it's continued to be an exciting stretch for Tackett with a lot of college opportunities falling into place uh, in the month since then. Tackett, what's going on, man? How are things going up y'all's way? Oh, it's going great. We're uh, starting our off-season program, building our, building our muscles, getting stronger, faster, kind of getting the ball rolling on that, and just getting ready for spring coming up and then summer workouts. How does that off-season program look for you guys? I know it's something that y'all's program takes a ton of pride in. Your uncle Jess, the head coach of the football team, and really, I mean, a lot of family connections all over that that school and that program. And you hear a ton about what Manny does in the off season to get ready for those big falls. Uh, as a a young man going through it, uh, how challenging is that at times, and and how critical is that to have the success that you guys do on the field? Oh, it's great. We love it. Uh, we started back. Pretty much the, the week we got back from Christmas break after the after the championship, so we were all excited about that. That's one of our favorite things to do, get in there and lift and get stronger and faster. So we have a great program, and we all buy into it. And Coach Jesse gives us some good stuff, and he's, he's a really good coach. We all love him. So, yeah, that's one of the things that really makes us better, I think. We're a really strong team, and it really helps out on the field. You started to slip there for a second, say Superdome instead of state championship game, because those two are usually so synonymous. But for you guys, what was this year like to navigate through some of the uncertainty and the curveballs, and then to have the opportunity to go out there, win a state championship and win a state championship really close to home, just right down the highway and, and have that sort of support uh, from nearby when, when you make the short trip to Natchitoches? Oh, it was a great experience. You know, it's something that I've looked forward to my whole life and then being able to do it with my uncle is just so awesome. Great experience with my uncle there the whole year. And we knew about the COVID and uh, all that. We knew that we beat COVID, we were going to win the championship. That was the only thing that could possibly hold us back. So we just stuck to the plan and trusted our coaches and all this and that and trusted that it would play out right. We stayed out the way of COVID and got lucky and won the championship. Some of your veterans – right on the heels of that runner up performance the the previous year started talking about that they were going to make sure that this group went and completed the mission Terrence mentioned it in the press conference in the Superdome what will you remember most in terms of that group that you've had a chance to work with these last few years as they now start to head off to their respective colleges and just the opportunity to take that that torch or baton from them and now y'all's groups take on that much bigger of a role with this program and try and move it forward? Yes, sir. From the first day that I got in there, those, those leaders, leaders like Terrence and Cadillac, they supported us from the first day. They wanted to see us do good, and they supported me throughout my whole process of my high school career. And I really looked up to them because they know what they're doing, and we got beat last year, and we were back to work. And they, they made sure everybody was working, and it was really a great experience with them because they're some great leaders. They're really – really good leaders and they can play ball too. I really love those two guys. With where you are in your career and, and seeing now, uh, I mean, bigger roles ahead for you each and every year, um, you, you got out there and were able to, to play a role as, I mean, I mean, the very beginning of your high school career really and just continue to kind of build upon that and to also see some of these college opportunities fall into place. What has that been like for you the last two years and kind of where do you feel like you are right now in terms of the progress you've seen from yourself and, um, the excitement to see some things start falling into place where you can take on those bigger roles and you can you can have those opportunities fall into place and have some of those conversations. Yes, sir. It feels it feels great to you know, see the hard work pay off that I've been working with my whole life. I've been working for this really hard my whole life and then to get out there and be able to start my freshman year and then slowly get better. I feel like I'm in a great spot, but I got a I got a lot of stuff that I could get better at. So I'm excited to get out there and keep working and get stronger faster and get ready for next season. With some of those offers that came as early as, I mean, almost a year ago now, um, some colleges reaching out, what have the conversations looked like in terms of the things that those coaches have told you guys that caught their attention? I'm assuming the physicality and the, the hard-hitting ability is, is among that list, but just as they've evaluated you and, and really kind of fallen in love with what you can bring to the college level, what would have been some of those early conversations with each program? I've had some great conversations with each of the coaches. Uh, they'll tell me about their plans for me, and so that, it gets me really excited and what they can do for me, what they can offer, who they've coached, uh, 
what all they've done in their career. And they'll tell me about the program, the rest of the coaches, and really what my future. So I love getting on the phone and talking to those coaches and letting being able to hear what they have to tell me. Have you been surprised by how early some of those have come for you? A lot of guys may wait until like that off season, the, the end of junior year, going into summer before senior year. And you're a guy that even up there in kind of a, a smaller area of the state, they found you fairly early and, and you've had a lot of great opportunities fall into place. Did it surprise you at all? Yes, sir. I was definitely surprised. I'm, I'm so blessed to be able to have all these offers just as in the grade I am right now. Cause I know that some kids hardly get any exposure and it's, hard for them to get offers. I know it's a tough thing that only a small percentage of athletes are able to do. So I've been so blessed and I'm really excited. What has this week been like? You had four come pretty rapid fire on Monday and a few other follow. Stanford, I think, is the most recent one now, which you mentioned in, in your announcement that the offer had come. That's a really prestigious opportunity uh, from a, a high academic and high athletic school. Uh, I'm sure it's been a really, a really – I guess, humbling and exciting week for you, even just this week to see some that have come into place, including a couple of SECs. Yes, sir. This week has really been truly exciting for me and the rest of my family have just been bouncing off the walls and crazy. Some of the offers that I got this week are just awesome. All of them, crazy. It's really a great experience. I never, I mean, I didn't think it would happen this early. I worked hard and it's paying off and it's good to see the hard work pays off. So it's kind of hold me and I'm just thankful. Who are some of the schools you hear from kind of most consistently or have kind of in those conversations really, I guess, expressed their interest to you to like the highest degree or have made the most impact in some of the, the conversation? Have any stood out and been kind of leaders of the pack thus far or uh, it's, it's all been kind of even between everyone just kind of reaching out and starting that relationship? Yes, yeah, sir. They've all started starting relationships with me and uh, I've been talking to pretty much each and every coach. So, it's been a great experience, but Virginia Tech and Colorado have been on me pretty hard. I talk to them almost daily in Virginia Tech. I have a long conversation with them every week. So I got a really good relationship with those coaches over there, uh, Colorado, and then some other schools that are on me too, Virginia. Pretty much all of them have a really good relationship with me, though. What do you see for yourself, I guess? I think a big question for you at such a, I mean, you're still in the middle of your high school career with two years left to grow both physically and game wise. And so with your physicality, there's some people that, that are wondering, okay, is he going to end up being like an outside linebacker or is he going to end up being a safety at the next level where you, you have an opportunity to play back there. You had a, an interception in the state championship game against Kinder. Where do you see your game right now? And where do you see it going as you continue to work? Uh, I think I could play either position. I could play, Pretty much any position on the field, if you ask me, you know what I'm saying? But uh, they really see me at linebacker, hybrid, safety from different schools. I think I can play different positions, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's different getting to hear from each and every, all the coaches and see what they like about me, what aspects of my games. It's Because some, uh, some, some coaches think that I'm going to grow and get bigger, which I probably am. I'll probably put on a good bit of weight. I've been gaining weight pretty fast. And that's what uh, – like Arkansas, for instance, they wanted me to put on some weight so I could play linebacker. With Stanford, thinks that I can play uh, linebacker, tight end, safety. They think they want me to play all of them. For some guys, I guess there might be a question, does he like that physical aspect enough to go play up in the box full time? I don't think anyone has that question about you, man. <laughs> no, sir. That's one of my best aspects. When did you realize that that piece of your game? I mean, you're out there just – annihilating people at times um when did you start to either realize that strength that you had as as a tackler on defense and and kind of gravitate toward that um because again not everyone has that that desire uh is i guess kind of the the first piece of it and then they go out there and execute it the way you do at such a high level um where did that become such a calling card for you uh, the physicality of the game, it's its a, one of the best parts about the game, to be able to get out there and hit people. You know, you can't do that often. You can't just go hit somebody. So it's its, it's kind of crazy, but it's one of my favorite things about the game. Like most other sports, you can't be that physical. Like basketball, track, it's pretty much pure talent. But in football, you can go out there and be physical and use your talent too. How much do you enjoy opportunities to do some of the things uh, elsewhere on the field and, and show more of – a potentially well-rounded aspect of your game too, where you can go catch that interception that was at a huge 
kind of pivotal moment in that game or you had an opportunity, I think a penalty brought it back, but that punt return where you're able to flash the speed a little bit uh, and just kind of show, yeah, I can go knock somebody's head off sort of thing, but, but look at some of these other aspects too. Yes, sir. It really makes the game fun because I like getting those big hits, but when you score that touchdown, it's also awesome too. It's a great feeling. So <laughs> I'm probably going to be playing quarterback this year too. So they'll see me on the offense this year. I've been working on that this spring, uh, trying to get some mechanics down and get better at that. Working on defense too, some of footwork and trying to get it all right, ready for next year. That was exactly what my next question was going to be about some focuses for the offseason. You mentioned going through the offseason program and getting sort of the, the strength and conditioning piece in place. But in terms of different, I guess, technical side and, and skill set sort of stuff that you're hoping to really improve upon, what are some some areas? Um, obviously, you mentioned just getting ready to quarterback your team. But uh, as you continue to build out your skill set long term, too, and some of the things you're hoping to continue to build out as a defender, uh, do you have – certain things in mind that you're thinking, yeah, you know, this is something that can really take and be a focus and make a huge stride in this summer? Yes, sir. I've definitely been thinking about it. Me and my coach, he, he'll let me know some of the things that I can get better at every year. We'll have a sit-down conversation, and he'll let me know, like, one of the things I'm starting to work on right now is leadership and leading a team into battle and uh, my knowledge of the game and recognizing different things that the team is trying to do. The opposing team, like, what are, their, what are they trying to look at us? What, what do I think their advantages are? What they're going to do on down the distance? And type stuff like that. With the, the family aspects of, of dad and uncle and cousin and everyone that's been around that program for so long, what is it like to be not just a, you know, a Manny Tiger where there's so much pride in, in, that, in that community, but a Curtis in the Manny program coming through right now? It's awesome being able to go to school with my dad, my uncle, my cousin, all of them, my, my aunt. They're, we're all at that school. So it's, it's kind of a crazy thing to be able to have and then have him on the sideline with you and then have him outside on the field with me every day and him teaching me from when I was little to now. It's, just, it's a really great experience. And being able to go to the championship two years in a row, we, we talk about it all the time. We, we love each other so much. And we, uh, we have a great connection with each other. So what's the future look like for these next couple of years at Manny, uh, and I guess particularly this this one next up? How much do you guys talk about, um, I guess, specific goals or mindsets now moving forward for that next year? Is that a conversation that's already happened where maybe you even have some little mantras or phrases that are getting thrown around the field house or anything like that? Or is that all kind of in the making as – as we go through naturally the off season, we've already been talking about it. We want to we want to come out and just dominate teams this year. We want to make the opposing team scared to come out on our field because we think we have the we have the guys. After last year, we pretty much got the whole team coming back, besides some of our seniors, and so we think that we can really build and have other teams scared of us. We want to just completely annihilate teams. I saw uh, Ty Thailand just picked up his offer from Mississippi State too. Had had that big play in the state championship game. So you guys have some some young talent coming along. Uh, what was the reaction like to see him start to get some college love at, again, such an early age? Yes, sir. We were all happy for him because he's a great athlete. And he's going to do great things. And we all support him. And he's, he's a great player. He had a great year last year and got the MVP of the championship. So we were all happy for him. I think he's going to make a big jump this year, too, and be a lot better than he was last year. For some coaches at some of these other schools that are, are starting to figure out who you are or some of the fan bases of the school that have schools that have offered you or other fans around Louisiana, if there's something you would want people to know about you, whether it be football or otherwise, um, just, you know, I like to ask you all kind of wrapping things up. What would you tell people if they're trying to get to know who is Tackett Curtis? What's what's kind of the message there about who you are? Uh, I'm, I'm a football player. That's that's my thing. I, I love family, football, uh, God. So that's, that's a few of the things that I really love in life and really school, academics. And uh, they just know that they're getting a pretty good player. Good deal, man. Tackett, I appreciate you. Uh, it's, it's certainly been a pleasure to watch little bits of you kind of starting out as an underclassman and, and now hitting these strides. And I definitely appreciate you taking some time to talk about the journey thus far and what lies ahead because it's, it's quite a bit. Yes, sir. Thank you. You got it. Again, he's Tackett Curtis, 2023 standout at Manny High, uh, pushing up toward 20 offers now on the recruiting trail. And for Louisiana versus all y'all, Jarrett Roser.